Today, let me take you on a photo shoot with Sony A9 Mark III. <laughs> I have my trusted couple to model for me today and I have winter vibes. I have 50mm f1.2 G master lens and a 70 to 200 G master lens Mark II. I started this photo shoot slow just to feel the beast and get familiar with it. I'm shooting medium speed which is already 15 frames per second on Sony A9 Mark III by default. Default. Way too much for static photos, obviously. High speed is by default 30 frames per second and high speed plus is that 120 frames per second, which I'm going to get in a moment. But starting light, the camera does everything so smooth and so fast that it's just nuts. I'm using the extra small focusing point, which is a new option for Sony in the A9 Mark III, and I'm using it with real-time tracking, meaning whatever I'm gonna point at and half press my shutter, it's gonna track the subject uh, and then kick in the recognition, like a body recognition, face recognition, and eyes recognition. So I'm gonna slow down the footage. As I was moving my camera quite a lot, uh, you know, reframing, framing, and it was pretty cold, so I had to just act quite fast. But you can already see how quickly the green rectangular switches from entire face to eyes, and it's just spot on. Even with a lens like 51.2, it's like it's dead on sharp on eyes every single time. But that's something we're kind of used to, like with all the modern current generation of cameras. As you can see, I'm using auto white balance and it actually worked great in this scenario. So maybe let's take this photo to Lightroom and just quickly edit it so we can just see it in a full glory. Okay, so look at the white balance. I think it's pretty spot on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my Magic Adabra color preset, which is the preset that I use for all of my work. You can purchase the presets in the description. Thank you very much. I think I might go slightly towards the more green winter colors. You, you just have to find your own balance with how do you want the picture to look. I like warm looking pictures in general. I'm gonna... Uh, lower the exposure. So for a picture like this, I would probably go for something like uh, gradient, just to get everything else other than them slightly darker, so you can focus more on them. Bam, it's a nice looking picture. Look at these colors, they're great. I really like the color rendition of the camera. I think it's on pair with uh, the newest Sony generation camera. So just like A7R5, we have that AI unit that helps with auto white balance and basically the improved color science. But that's something I guess everyone should just judge on their own photos. Okay, for the next photo, I tried this walking shot from the distance. And also you can see we have a body recognition kicking in. So that green rectangular shape on the body, it does mean it recognizes a body structure. And as soon as the object is getting close enough, it does switch to the face and then to the eyes. So again, this is something we know from Sony a7R5, but with this camera, it's like way faster at way faster frame rates because Sony a7R5 was limited to 10 frames per second. And here we can do it up to 120 frames per second. So that is pretty insane and magic. What about that super fast flash sync speed and 120 frames per second? Can you show us that? Of course I can and I will. First, I need to show you this video sponsor, which is PicTime. PicTime is just the best. I use it to deliver my photos to the clients in these beautifully designed galleries. I connect it with the local labs for my clients. There's just so many labs to choose from, from all over the world. So my clients can order prints directly from the gallery and have them shipped locally. On top of that, I do deliver all of my clients' photos with a slideshow that I also create inside the pick time with royalty-free music, like plenty of songs to choose from and embed it in the gallery. And then that's not all. I create a blog post with a blog post tool that is inside pick time to target specific places I shoot at and venues so clients can find me on Google. PicTime like literally has it all and I've been using it since 2017, so seven years of using PicTime. If you're a wedding photographer, you have to sign up for a free plan and just check it out and then use the code MAGIC to get extra month for free of a paid plan if you decide to switch. All right, so you asked, 
flash. Let's do flash. So thanks to the global shutter, Sony A9 Mark III can sync up with flashes at ridiculous shutter speeds, like no more 1 over 250 shutter speed limit, no more HSS shooting at lower power of your flash. Now you can just easily kill the ambient light and just overpower the light with your flash. So I wanted to create this silhouette backlit shot. So using my 50 at f1.2, I want to have super shallow depth of field and I want to have flash behind my couple, just, just blasting. And then because it's cold, I kind of want to use their breath as this like steam, a backlit steam in between them. In order to kill the ambient, I needed to go for one fourth thousand of a second shutter speed. So that's pretty insane already. I used my Profoto 810 flash. I just placed it on the rocks behind the couple, facing towards their faces. First couple shots and bam, like I'm getting what I wanted. So this looks very nice, but I needed to work a little with, uh, you know, the breath situation. I actually wished I had my fog maker with me, uh, you know, a little fog machine that would just work great on this shoot, but like breath should work as well. So after a couple of tries, I got exactly what I wanted, which is this shot. Just look at this exactly what I wanted, the light blasting through the steam and just look at this super shallow depth of field. And it's gonna look amazing in black and white. So I'm gonna apply my black magic preset. So yeah. Okay, now it's time for 120 frames per second. Check this out. Here is the behind the scenes of shooting for one second. Here's what camera sees when you shoot at 120 frames per second. Here it is in slow motion. And here are 120 photos from this moment. And here is a little animation created from this sequence after applying preset and editing. Unreal. Unfreaking real. So after a couple of these sequences of trying the 120 frames per second, I decided to test it in slightly more, let's say, demanding scenarios. So I mounted 70 to 200 G Master Mark II on the camera and asked my couple to run through me. Okay. So again, here's the behind the scenes of that. Here's what camera sees. Here's what camera sees in slow motion. And here are the photos. And from the sequence of photos, I can choose the one that everything lines up perfectly. So because they're running and moving around, I told them to look at each other. Uh, you know, I have all these combinations of hair flips, of hands, eyes, them looking at each other, like all these combinations to choose from. So I can just choose the best single photo out of the sequence. And then also I can create this little animation from that sequence, which looks super dope in my opinion. And obviously now we can debate because like, dude, 120 frames per second, back in the day, photographers just had a one shot and it was working. Like, duh, obviously they had a one shot because they couldn't have more. If they had more, like I bet they would use it. But of course it is kind of like, for a situation like this, it is spray and pray. But listen to this one closely because this is a big statement from Magic. 120 frames per second high speed burst can lead you to career defining photo. It can literally change and shape your career as a photographer. And I am the living example of that statement. Check this out, in 2016, I was shooting my good old Canon 5D Mark Three. This camera can shoot like, I think six frames per second. And then I also had Fuji X Pro 2, which could shoot eight point something frames per second. So it's slightly faster. And I was shooting my first wedding photo shoot in Iceland with a couple. So we went to this final spot of the day. It was super windy. We could like barely exit the car. We like, we, we couldn't open the doors. Look at this clip. This is how windy it was. It was insane. So I position my couple in a spot that I wanted to shoot. I asked them to hold close and, you know, just be super close, look at each other. And the, all I could do is literally just frame the picture and shoot because the wind was just going so crazy. The hair was everywhere. You know, it was not easy for them to pose. So I 
took the X-Pro2, which was the faster camera, and I started shooting that eight frames per second. I ended up having like around 30 photos from this moment, and only one worked perfectly. This one. The hair, the pose, the framing, everything worked in just that one single image. If I would go for Canon and shoot like six frames per second, I could have missed this one. And this picture, this single picture, it went viral. It was everywhere. It was on Junebach Weddings, it was on Huffington Post, Bryce.com, Cosmopolitan, like literally everywhere. I got tons of shoots in Iceland from this one picture. I got tons of weddings all around the world. I got to fly to Los Angeles for a wedding thanks to this one picture. One picture out of 30, because the technology at this point allowed me to shoot just 30 from that moment. 100% I would not be able to take it with one shot. And now I can only imagine how many more photos I could choose from that sequence if that was shot at 120 frames per second. Yep, that's it. Now go order Sony A9 Mark III from my affiliate links. Thanks, bye.